you know, what qualifies them to, <coughs> to express an opinion that can influence someone's either career path, whether it's, you know, the very influential, certainly the English media with the English national team, and hence the English national team are sh at the minute. Um, <laughs> the opposite side of that, I don't think we've had uh, great players. People go on about the golden generation. I don't think we've have, uh, had it because they, they haven't they haven't won anything, so they're not a golden generation. Well, Alex Ferguson, and you know, I'm not here to disrespect Fergie, but great manager, the, you know, the icon, the pinnacle of, of British management, and he couldn't put on a coaching session to save his life. I mean, I've spoke to people about it. He, he can barely lay out cones. It's a scary time as an Englishman who, who cares passionately about his football. I mean, you'd only have to look at the amount of foreign owners. I mean, how many English people own English clubs? Um, the Football Association is archaic. It is completely and utterly out of its depth, in my opinion. I mean, if it doesn't even run the major uh, league in our country. The Premier League is, is very good and, and does very good things. But the Premier League is in a, is, is in a massive um, battle, really, because they don't really care about English football. They care about the Premier League and the Premier League as a product and the Premier League being worth billions and billions. And the FA, whose responsibility it is to care about English football and English football <coughs> development, have no power. You know, bar and ban and players and stuff.